I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. Your thoughts? <laughs> what? My goal was 20 and I just hit 22 this morning. It's 1 p.m. now here in Paris and I need to check out because I'm going home. I really doubt I'm gonna get another one on the board either on the plane or like on my layover. So I think 22 is where we're gonna cap it out. But how did I go? She belongs to the streets. Really? That's what we've come to? That's pretty damn sad. Nasty bitch. She did what now? 22 in 10 days? That gotta be the sickest thing I heard in a while. And mm. let's even just start from the beginning, right? You think a man could pull that off? She's a regular looking girl. Nothing special about her. You think that a regular looking dude of equal caliber would be able to pull that off with such ease? All she did is, she didn't even do it in like a place where she's from. She went someplace else, right. to a foreign place. Right. And picked up, <laughs> what they say in the comments? 2.2 <laughs> dudes per day? Yep. Like, <clears throat> you think of different dudes? That, if you're a man and you do something like that, I would argue that is an accomplishment because women generally don't be giving it up like this. Because you would think. decisive, picky. Right, and that you had to convince two different women who never met you per day to give it up. But when you're a woman, you can literally lay down in traffic. You don't even have to speak. If you're naked, somebody somewhere will pop out to fuck you. So the most ridiculous, like this is outrageous. And she's going to come back and say, how did I go? Really, bitch? This is something to be proud of now? This is what society has brought young women to. Just like Meg Thee Stallion talking, talking all that bullshit, bodies on bodies on bodies, right? You should be proud of it, right? You're sexually liberated, right? But yet if somebody has an opinion on what they don't want their girlfriend to have been doing before, now all of a sudden there's something wrong with them, right? She needs to watch uh, Mia Khalifa and which McCloth's new, Lana new Rose. pot, yeah, new new uh, show, because now they regret everything that they did, and now they're trying to lead women into not doing the things that they did. Listen. And it took them how long to listen? No, no, not how long. It took them how many dicks to listen? Fuck you talking about? It's thousands of meats those two have been through and collectively. And now it's just hitting them, and now they're giving the hints <coughs> on. Leading women and not doing the things that they did. And to make better, better choices, better choices in the, for their own future. Like, this women type of... Women don't listen. They don't. They and this don't type listen. Of, and they don't listen. They don't even listen to other women. <laughs> that, they, right! That's the crazy part! Literally, women who actually experienced it and literally are now in the ages where they regret it, you're not heeding their warnings. And it's just, like, too little too late. It's, like, again, hard of hearing those who do not... Here will feel, and now they're feeling it, and now they regret it. Oh, this girl's gonna be fucking ruining her life. Right, and the sick, and the sickest part about this, right, is that she left her boyfriend. She feels so liberating. This is the type of bitch to be like, <laughs> okay, I, I got it out of my system. I want to go back to my boyfriend. And when he finds out and doesn't want to take her back, she'll say there's something wrong with him. Right. Like. And just the we'll audacity. the blame game right. on every single man, him, everybody that she encounters that don't want to deal with it, will play the blame game on them, but will not self-reflect and say, maybe it's me. Right. What, what, why are they shunning me for being me, for being free? Because That's not what they want. Right, because you're a walking STD. That's why. Are you joking? 2.2 new partners per day? Your doctor would be like, I wouldn't fucking advise it. With these fucking rates out here, I wouldn't advise not even a little bit. That's actually sick. And that's actually sick. Yeah. And you know, I don't have to look, bro. I don't have to look. I know your comments are full of motherfuckers Wait. saying, oh, congratulations. You're free. Don't don't let them keep you down. Blah, 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 blah. 2.2 new motherfuckers per day. That's ridiculous. Those She putting up superhead numbers. The fuck out of here, Wilt Chamberlain? Like, now, you gotta be joking. Now, don't get us wrong. There are women who are out there and will live this life till the end of time and still be happy. But no, majority where, of where, where, where? The I, actual real hoes that actually really do want to be a hoe. The, even them? No, not, not even them. <laughs> they get to be 40 and, and, and they don't get as much male attention as they used to. And then now they're like, ah, I wish I had a this or that. I'd be like, you wish I had a what? Exactly what niggas is gonna... Take you after every man on earth has ran through you. Are you kidding me? Mia Khalifa saw 
the consequences of that fucking behavior. Yeah. Your goofy ass decided that you was going to try and have your new husband <laughs> and he and this little simpy goofy is going to go along with that shit and everything was fine until people started getting getting in his DMs, sending, sending him your videos. Y'all some fucked up fucking yeah, individuals. Yeah, 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 y'all man's fucked up that shit. devious. <laughs> you know niggas yeah, is out here. Yeah, that crazy, yo. We try to, hey, listen, they're like. Mans was trying to live his life. We're trying to save you from future embarrassment, right? <laughs> Literally, but damn, get y'all got to do that. Get out now. Wait, are you kidding me? She still goes by that name. It's not like she used her real name. Yeah, that's the crazy part. So if he Google her name, what you think he's going to find? Not her Facebook page. I tell you what. The fuck you talking about? Hey. And then what's he supposed to do with that information? You as a man, you seeing your girl getting ran through by all these people. What are you supposed to do with that? Nothing but having immediate anxiety and look for the chandelier to attach the rope to? Like, stop playing. He ain't. And then what happened? Their shit fell apart immediately. Yep. Get the fuck out of here with this shit. She's going to regret it. This girl is going to regret it. I, I, it's like you're, you're... But when will she regret it, though? When it's Bef- too little, Before or after she goes late. on up. Oh, yeah, right? So when is that time that you'd come to your senses? Before or after you go on a podcast and people fucking ask you questions, you're like, yeah, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of everything. I'll never regret it. I want to do this forever. Mm-hmm. I, I need to be free. I'm young and hot. Why would I want to be tied down? That's always the same shit you hear from them, right? Right. This is not the way to go. This is not the way to be. And this is certainly not the type of girlfriend any young man would want. So right. you motherfuckers keep acting like this. And as, as my boy Malcolm used to say, the chickens will come home to roost, motherfucker. Now or later. The pendulum will swing on the other side again. Now Sooner my, or later. Listen, man. That shit gonna swing back and slap you in your fucking eyeball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then they're gonna be 35. Ah, ah. They're gonna be 35 and 40 at home talking about, wait, but why doesn't anybody want me? Because you put that video on the internet talking about you slept with 22 guys in 10 days. That's it's, why. It's going to be like that uh, episode of Will Smith when he's standing in the house by himself. Why does no other guys want... Why don't no men want me? Right, right, right. Oh, oh yeah. He's like, he's like, why don't they want me? Just standing around like... <laughs> the, lonely. The, the lonely and shit. Like, wait, where did everybody go? <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> they went to the same place as your fucking dignity. <laughs> Get Facts. the fuck out of here. To dignity hell. <laughs> to hell. Into a black fucking hole. Right. The fuck are you talking about, son? <laughs> Y'all fucking nasty. And to think of it, she'll even say, they'll, they'll ask her on the podcast and she'll, they'll say, why did you, do you think if, what, what, what would your future husband say if he saw that video? Or even worse, you're getting married and then somebody sends this, you this video of your wife from your wife's past. What do you do? You best believe your ass. If, if he's a real nigga, you might get kicked to the curb. He might say shit. She's so devious and, and, what, what would you call this? Efficient. In her holy, 2.2 niggas per day, she putting up real numbers. Right. That's what I'm talking about. So all you have to do is, is take a nap for too long, and she already picked up three bodies. Quit playing, son. A bitch like that will cheat on you expeditiously. Don't ever be entangled with dirty little motherfuckers like this. No fucking way.